Now let's come to the real reason why we use talk. We lift weights in our hand, but our muscle pulls somewhere here. So now let's take it over here. Okay, at exact 15 centimeters to make calculations a little easier. Now let's say two kgs is pushing down over here, but I am pulling with my muscle at 15 centimeters. How much force? does my muscle need to produce in order to maintain this position? 30. Now I'll give the step-by-step -step explanation. Okay. There's no bind. This weight is pushing my forearm down at a distance of 30 centimeters, which means okay. there is 60 units of torque at the elbow joint. Yeah. In order for my forearm, forearm to not move, I need to produce 60 units of torque in the upward direction. If I pull here, I need to produce 60. If I pull here, I need to produce 60. If I pull here, I need to produce 60. If my arm is to not move. Now, the torque that needs to be produced by this band is the same, 60. But the force that this band will produce will have to change because if it is producing force here, it's like, okay, I need to produce 60 units of torque. And since mm. I'm at 30 centimeters, I'll apply two kgs and I'll get two into 30, 60. But now the more you I, go, go yeah. this side, the more. Correct. Now that I'm applying it at 15, I have to still produce 60. And if I only give two, I'll only get 30 units of torque and my arm will go down. I need to produce 60. So Which four, means, right? Yes. Four. Ah, so I was right. Correct. 60 divided by 15. You were right. You need to produce four kgs of force over here or your arm will go down. Hmm. And the extreme, right. just for that whole joint, you need to produce exactly 60 units of force. Right? Correct. So the torque stays the same no matter what. It's just the amount of force the band has to produce at different positions is what changes. Exactly. Got it. Now, let's say we go to a realistic scenario. The band is pulling at 5 centimeters. Hmm. Now, we still have how much downward torque at the elbow joint? 60. 60. How much upward torque does the band have to produce? 20. Downward. No. Oh. Upward torque. How much upward torque does the band have to produce at 5 centimeters? For the arm to go down or something? No, upward torque will still be the same, right? Still 60. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Upward torque is still the same. That's why I mentioned <laughs> 5 centimeters specifically. Yeah. I'm like, that doesn't matter. Upward torque is the same. Yeah, upward torque is still the same. It's still the same. Now, Upward torque is still five cent is still 60 units, but I'm pulling at five centimeters. So how much force does this band have to produce? 12. So again, it would be 60 divided by five. Correct. 12. Exactly. 12 units or 12 Ks. How much is the downward force? Yeah, 12. Oh my God. Huh. Uh, downward force is still 60. No, two kilos. Two kilos. Yeah. Two kilos is the downward force. How much is the upward force? Well, holy shit, man. That's crazy. Exactly. Yeah. You see, for lifting a two kg object here, our muscles are almost producing 12. They are at what is called a mechanical disadvantage.